Hello and welcome back to the channel. I'm Ian, I explores. Now today we're going to take a long journey on a train. Okay, we're going to, well, near London. It's a village just outside London where I'm going to. It's near Hampton Court. So if you know what Hampton Court is, it was Henry the Apes, one of Henry the Apes' palaces. So on uh, that note, let's get on the train and get on with the video. <laughs> Okay, so I've just arrived at Grimsby Town Station, as you can see, I am here. Right, so uh, let's go in there and have a coffee then. We should be getting on the train very shortly. Okay, so I'm now on the, the platform now, waiting for the train to go towards uh, London. I actually changed at Doncaster, so we're doing a bit of filming round there. Um, I'd film on the other side, the platform I'm getting is on the other side to this one, but there's a lot of people there, so I'll just turn this round. There's the sign. The platform I'm getting on is here. Like I said, there's a lot of people about. There's a train just pulled in over there. I think that's just come from either Barton or Lincoln, I'm not really sure. So anyway, on with the journey. Just got to wait for the train now. Okay, so the trains are pulling in now. It's about to get on it. I'll zoom in on there for you. There it comes. Yes, yeah, so we're about to get on that. I'm going to get off at Doncaster. Okay, so I've now got on the train. Just going to turn this round and show you in front. Yeah. So that's where we're going to there. Well, it's gone off now. It goes all the way to all them on there. But yeah, we're getting off at uh, Doncaster. Okay, so I'm now sitting on Doncaster Station now. I'm just waiting for the train. There's one just going past. I'll show you that. There you go. See the same one on that one there. I think the next train is there. Um, I'll let that go past. There you go. Doncaster Station. There we go. Okay, so just waiting for the next one now. The next time I film, that should be on London King's Cross. Right, so I've uh, now come back to King's Cross Station. We're now in the middle of London. Uh, just been for something to eat. I'll just show you the, the station. I'll spin it round. There we go, just come out of there. It's King's Cross. Over there, St Pancras. It is mad busy here. Say I'm going to a village soon. Well, that's where I've just come out. That's the Great Northern Hotel in front of there, which is attached to this, the railways. Okay, so let's move on then, a bit further. Okay, so we're just going back into the uh, King's Cross station now. And uh, you've all seen Harry Potter, or some of you may have done. Platform nine and three quarters. There's actually a thing with a basket on it. And there's probably a queue for it, but we're gonna go and have a look anyway. See if we can actually get on it. A bit unusual to Grimsby, eh? What I usually do, but there you go. There's in London. So I'm going to turn this around and show you what's going on. There we are. All up there. This way. Really busy round here. I'm going to keep walking. It's a really big station. But we're looking for where the Harry Potter thing is. Skylock, Gresley. All you train people will know this one. I'm going to pause that and read that later on. I hope this camera's picking it up really well, but there he is. Sir Nigel Gresley. And there's many a trains named after him. In the, in the locomotive that uh, he designed or something like that. I'm not really up on it, so if any of you do, I'll leave comments below, but that was him. The statue there in the King's Cross Station if you ever come down here. Okay, let's go towards the, uh, the Harry Potter thing. Okay, so we're coming up to the wall, platform nine and three quarters. Okay, so you can see it there. There's the trolley and it says that form nine and three quarters on it. It's a massive queue for it. So, uh, okay. Shop now, look at this. Turn this around for you as well. This is it. Harry Potter shop, platform nine and three quarters. Hogsmeade, but you all know these. If you've ever seen Harry Potter. So let's go in and have a look. Okay, we're now inside said shop. I'm gonna put the turn the camera around and that. Have a look at me. Here we go. Look at this. Really good. If you're into Harry Potter, this is where you wanna come. So you see up there, there's the letters for Hogwarts. That's on the Philosopher's Stone. Okay. 
It's a bit hard to film in here, people, but I'll try my best. Look at all this here. Wow. So good. Oh, that's nice, isn't it? Look at that. As you can probably hear, I've got my two doors as well, so you hear voices, it's just empty. Telling me things. If you know Harry Potter, that's a Deathly Hallows. Let's go around here. Wow, well, lots of things. Oh, Ollivanders. The wands. Wands. Ollivanders. I'm not going to do all the quotes for you all, but Dragon Heart String! I know. <laughs> Never watched it, don't know. <laughs> don't know. I haven't got a clue. Yeah, it's been every Is that the older one? Oh, I heard that. Sorry, yeah. No, I watched the thing on YouTube as a vlogger myself. <laughs> Turn the camera the right way. Alt. Look at all this. Okay, that was a quick look round the uh, the Harry Potter new shop that's just opened up in King's Cross. I saw this online and wanted to come and see it, but the queue to actually do the uh, thing to that platform nine and three quarters is absolutely massive. I mean, it's it's all in there. It's huge. You enjoyed that little bit there. We're going to move on now and go back outside into the city and uh, have a look around. And if I see anything, obviously I'll film it. It was well, saying that you see thousands of things round here. It's not like an own filming. I mean, there's everything, so I'm going to move on. Okay, you're going to sit in Covent Garden. Let's have a look around here, eh? There it is around. Oh, oh, here we go. This is where we are at the moment, in here. Absolutely full of people. We stopped here for a bit to have a look around before we move on. You've probably all seen this before on many videos that are online. But I thought I'd do one. <laughs> so here we are. Some violinists down here, but you can hear them. Okay, so we're outside again. We just was in Covent Garden now, see where we are. There's the Apple Market through there. Punch and Judy up there. Still in this same area. Down here, this is King Street. This is where we are now. Very busy round here. And this is a weekday. A lot of people from different places as well. You can hear different accents everywhere. Excellent. Oh, this round here, people. This is, uh, this is good, huh? We've come out of there, we're walking a bit further now. There's tons to see around in London. Absolutely, I could be here all day with this. I think the, uh, the SD card have already run out rapidly. This is a pub, the Roundups. This is on New Row. Oh, hello. A mystery on there. I'm somewhere else now. <laughs> I've lost track of the streets. That's a theatre. Right, no cold theatre, got it. That's there. Ian McKellen. And Shakespeare. But you all know who Shakespeare is, that bloke that lived in the Stratford upon Avon. St Martin's Court we're down now. This is really good. There's the side of that theatre there. Just walk past. So you think when you come here, you've got to look up and everywhere because you can miss stuff. And if you watch some of the tours that they do around here, they're really good. Right, I'm going to carry on. We are in Leicester Square, Charing Cross Road. There we go, look at this. 
I see Empire Theatre up there. The Queen's House. Yeah, this is Leicester Square. Okay, I'm going to turn this round. This is Chinatown up there. Look at that. We have rickshaws as well. I think we're going down. Um, oh, there's a Trocadero. Or straight up there, look. There's a Trocadero. I hope you're enjoying this one. That is the London Trocadero. I like that shop across there though. That up there. Got across the road. There's a statue of some horses under there. That through there, look at them horses. Wow. Okay, so we're now at Piccadilly Circus. Piccadilly Circus. Okay, this is, this is the Windrush, that boat. Look at this. I'll just turn this camera around. Look at that, and the statue to them on there. Oh. There you go, he's shopping. Can talk a little. Okay, so this is where I'm staying tonight. Um, I might usually do this type of video, but all right, this is in a, right, the high end uh, part of London, it's called Thames Den. It's a very expensive area, but this for three of us for one night you might say it's expensive but it's 150 quid and that's not bad I mean it's an Airbnb but it's not bad as you can see nice massive telly look there's a fridge there's a microwave here there's a fridge in here as well this is really good so then you come in this way or but yeah, so this is where we are. So tomorrow, I shall be um, we'll be already seen a bit about London Covent Garden. Now we're going to go around the village hopefully tomorrow to put some more footage on. So uh, I sleep now and I will be ready to do some more. I exploring tomorrow. Now the morning, um, I slept in this place uh, behind me overnight. Okay, I'm in uh, Thames Ditton at the moment, and uh, this trip is also a film, but it's also I'm going to. Uh, it's a sad day. Um, well, for myself, what I'm, at, I'm going to a family funeral. But I'm gonna have a look round here as I walk to where I need to be going today. Some nice places round here, really nice. So I'm gonna walk around. We're going to go show you that's where I've just been come out of. So I'm going to walk around this and show you what's around. And we get across these roads first. Very busy around here. As you can imagine, all these are commuting into the city. So uh, I'm going to watch where I'm walking. OK, let's carry on. Look at this pub. This is called The Ferry. I'm going to walk down these streets here. So no through road. We're just going to have a look. I'll walk around the other way. Yeah, so this is what it's like round here. Busy, as I was saying before. But uh, let's go for a little walk and see what we find. Go past the shop. Well, I've got to go in, right. Okay, I'll go, let's get on a bit further. Okay, so we continue on. There's actually a fish and chip shop across the road here, so I'm going to turn this round 
Right over there, I don't know if the camera can see it, there's a few vans in the way, but that is the fish and chip shop. We're going to walk this way. Look at these phones. We'll go down this way, I think. This is St. Leonard's Road. I'll show you where I am, there's that fish and chip shop across there. We're going walking up this way. Very nice. Those looks like, um, I don't know, like what area around Grimsby would you say? I would think like Abbey Road area type of buildings, you know, all the big places, but uh, you know, like uh, really, um, I don't know, four times the price or 10 in some cases. To get here, you had to come past Wimbledon, by the way, that's what I tell you that. I didn't see the uh, the uh, tennis court because you can't see it from the terrain. Holding off this morning, even though this is quite far down south in you know, near London. It is cold, it's about 10 degrees or something like that. So I'm going to carry on walking where I am. This is like St. Leonard's Road, I think it said. If I've got that wrong, just a copy of uh, Google Maps. <laughs> yeah, terms didn't. I'll walk straight down here. Right, I'm going to turn this off for a bit and see where this takes me. It's definitely a bus route. Some of the places around here, people. Oh, God. Massive. Okay, so a bit later on, I'm going to show you a bread oven. Okay, from I think uh, the 18th century, something like that. But I will show you it. It's inside uh, where my family live. Let's say I'll show you it, but it's still there. So you can imagine how old is uh, where he lives. Is it's a cottage in this village of Thamesdale, where I am. There's a new one over there. Look. See what I mean by looking like um, Umberston Avenue back home? That's sort of what this looks reminds me of. This is really interesting. A new place. So I hope you like this video from now. I know I cut it a bit short. Um, coming from Covent Garden, we had to. We was in a rush to get the trains uh, before the rush hour in London. You can imagine what that's like. But we did avoid it. So I'm walking down this way now. On the same road I just mentioned back there. But this is a, a long way. It says six minutes to where I need to be. But uh, it, like I said before, it's cold. I'll turn this camera around and know there's plenty of people around. So there you go, this is where we are. Currently I've just come from up there. And I'm walking down this way. These houses, every one of these are massive. I've not seen a small house as yet. I don't know what they would call small around this part of the uh, country, I don't know. But all these look like the Pin Humberston Avenue. Good, you know, really good. Look at that, it goes through there and all, all private roads. Oh, okay, for this, and we're having something done there. Some, somebody behind me coming up to a wall here on the other side of the road there I'll have, have a look at that and walk up to it oh, it looks quite old right so I'm going to walk up to this uh, this wall obviously it's around something but this wall here look at this right so there I say this wall here there's a gate in there look Getting close on that tower up there for you. We're going around the corner now. There's a, that across the road there. Fountain Cottage, there's 1894 on it. And it's an Italian cafe, Delicatessen. Wow. I think I need to go this way. Yeah, but I'm just going to look, look around here. This is where we are. Look at that for a roundabout. I mean, Really, <laughs> don't get them in Grimsby, unfortunately. But look at this. Look at this, you guys. I know that's a pizza place. It's probably really nice. We're going to go down this way shortly. I'm going to quickly look up there. Let me come. get off this road. I'm getting run over. Oh, look at this. Okay, I'm going to carry on and walk behind me now. Right, so I'm now stood on Thames and High Street. I'm just going to turn this camera around. Seems like everywhere you look round here, there's old cottages and everything. This place is really old. 
I'm going to uh, try and get across this road in a minute. Okay, so I'm going to walk a bit further. It seems like everywhere you look, there's an old building. So I'm going to just whiz this around. You can see over there, look. All these, oh, there's a plaque up there. I can't read them, my eyes aren't that good, but blue plaques tells you a lot about places. But I wouldn't know what who the person was without having to do research. A genuine Italian, uh, an Italian, sorry, genuine French bakery around here, which I believe we're going to uh, taste the baguettes and things later on. And that's where I'm, I'm going inside in there shortly. But this is where I am. Go across here without getting run over. The Hawks and Co. says up there. Look at that. All right, in, in about the 1895, Thomas Hawkes, founder of ginger, a ginger beer factory. And this was here on the high street. Wow. Says he owned it. This was in, I'm assuming, this place here. Let's walk a bit further up. But uh, everything round here, and look at these places here. Everywhere you look down this place, it's all the original stuff. There's a nice pub at this pub here, look. George and Dragon. Okay, so as promised, this is a genuine bread oven. Okay, you see it in there? Look at that. Down on it. It does open as well. I don't want to open it too far, but it goes right back into there. That is a genuine bread oven. And you see the fireplace, look, it's genuineness, all proper. Look at that. So I'm not saying where I am. And down there, you see that one as well, look. That's really old as well. The gate under there. You've got the old sink there, the copper. In here, it's got a degree on it. And the old thing, look, for getting the bread out. Under there. These are old timbers. Okay, so we're now looking inside this. Look at this, old bricks in there, look. My, I bet this does a tasty pizza as well as bread. Look at that. I don't see many of these. Okay, so brilliant. Right, on to the next. Right, okay, so I've come ventured a bit more into this uh, fine building. Look at the uh, beams up there. It is 18th century. And uh, said it's a private residence. It's been allowed privilege to come in here. So, like I said, I'm not going to show any of the the personal things, or the fireplace will be fine, I suppose. There you go. But yeah, I came in here because there's a brick oven, in, uh, the oven in here. Okay, so we've come to the end of another video. I hope you enjoyed this one. I'd like to thank all my uh, new subscribers to the channel. I really do appreciate it. And for all you watching my content, I really do appreciate that. And before I finish, I hope you enjoyed this one. A bit of London and a village outside. Okay, so on that note, I will see you all next time on the next video. Oh, and don't forget to like and subscribe. Bye for now.